In the previous episode, we defeated more nobles for charm, loot, relations, and influence. Peace was declared on all fronts, and Harold is less than 25 levels from 275 one-handed and athletics. And one thing I forgot to mess with is learning languages. We've got people in our party that, that know different languages. Let's, uh, let's get a lesson from First Dead Phil Johnsonson. He is our steward, so he should be pretty smart. We'll start learning that. We should have been doing that a while ago. Whoops. And we're 97.5 on our gladiator, so we could get this next progression, which is going to make zero difference. 30% more profits from bets. Yeah, these are actually kind of pointless now. 10 influence from tournament victories is, is helpful, though. So if we can get there. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wow. 120, 100, and 110. This is really, really high and late game armor. We want to win this. I'm curious to see if this armor is an upgrade. It is, and it's actually a big upgrade. Yeah, let's see this thing. Uh, looks pretty similar, but instead of the, the bronze goldish tint, it's uh, more of a steel. That looks really nice. But more importantly, that armor is insane. And we did hit 175 on our main. I think this one, we're probably better off going prisoner limit. We do run into our prisoner limit quite a bit. And I would rather do more damage to the enemy troops morale. Get them to run sooner. Plus 5 party is nice to have. I don't feel like the plus 30% effect on friendly morale does really anything. So we'll take this one. They're, they're both decent, but I, I do prefer that. And they have a ton of hardwood here, so let's do that. Also, some Thamaskine steel for 173. Wow, what happened there? Really cheap. And we'll take at least a couple hundred. We could always sell it back if we don't need to use it all. Yeah, we've got our refiners now, so we can just use these, these guys to do all of it for us. And let's go ahead and smelt with our main. Let's get the big ones first. And instead of smelting more, I'd rather keep the smelting to our main. Let's just convert materials we don't really need these let's just convert we almost unlocked everything here so we've got let's see one more mace head one more handle oh man of course <laughs> we've got a ton of pommels these things are just terrible all right well we got a little ways to go i guess almost done with the main stuff though we got 100 on our main character and this is going to be experience smith we're going to have somebody else handling the the steel maker series for us one thing, we kind of starting to run low on uh, crafting materials. So what I'm going to do, let's buy a little more hardwood. We don't need a ton more. We definitely don't need 600. Maybe like 100. Uh, maybe a little bit more. And let's buy all the iron ore. Yeah, not too expensive. We can turn that into crude. But you know what? We don't have anybody that can do that one. Let's see. Let's turn Helga into somebody that can do efficient iron maker. Because we're going to be converting that. Let's do that. So we're coming in here to the Tournament Master. We'll go to Helga. We want to reset her Endurance and Smithing perks. 1200, no big deal. And so Helga is going to be the Efficient Iron Maker. So it's going to be three, three crude for every one iron ore. So Helga, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And we are going to need a ton of, of charcoal and hardwood. So let's go ahead and blast this out. And what we're trying to do here is create a very fast swing speed two-handed mace that hopefully still does a decent amount of damage. Finally, Magnus hit level 50 perk, and we're going to take the steel maker, so we'll start moving stuff up to steel. That's going to make things a lot easier. We don't have to buy the expensive weapons to smelt. Yeah, because if you go into here, most of the good ones require steel. All right, so we finally got enough steel. We can start making some decent maces. Let's see, hopefully don't get hit too hard. Ooh, yeah, that's bad. Uh, that's pretty bad as well. Well, that's not bad. I think this will be a good one. Yeah, we've got all the stuff we need. We really don't care about, oh, we got them all anyways. I was gonna say, don't really care about the pommels because they don't add anything. So we should probably start working on a, the next one. Two-handed axe or two-handed polearm, which I think it's going to be the polearm. I think this is, is the better pick. So let's go ahead and upgrade our mace. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like in the new one that we made. We went for swing speed. We sacrificed a bit of blunt damage and length, but we got really good swing speed and handling. So I'm kind of curious to see how this one works out. I feel like it's going to do better. These polearms are absolute trash, and they used up steel, so that's 
That's a problem. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these, get our materials back. Now, there was a war declared. So let's go ahead and finish this up so we can get back to work. Yeah, let's just buy a couple hundred hardwood. Let's try and convert as much of this stuff into higher tier crafting materials as we can. So we can just... Yeah, if we have a bunch of steel, it's easier to get these. And it's going to take up less space because converting these, you lose a lot of materials to get up to the steel. So let's just do that. There's anything, nothing to smelt, so we're literally just refining this whole time. And yeah, we need to use Magnus to convert stuff over, so let's uh, do that first. We want to get everything into steel that we can. Right, so it costs us about, I think we're at 35 to 40. It costs us quite a bit of money to do this. We don't really have anything to show for it. We could buy, uh, craft some stuff and, and sell it. But I think we'll keep what we've got. We do have a lot of iron, maybe a little too much, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's just craft a few things and just sell. That way we're not completely screwed out of money. And that two-handed mace did pretty well, the one that cost iron. Yeah, three iron. And this one all's as well only cost iron, so we'll do that. Let's see what these sell for. 36k. We'll, we'll recoup a little bit of our money back. Not quite all of it, but a, a good chunk of it. And we're still overburdened because we do have... Let's see, we got quite a bit of... Well, not a lot of charcoal. We got a little bit of charcoal. Let's get rid of our crude and wrought iron. That brings us a little closer and get rid of some of the iron. We're just barely under. I think I think the armor is starting to finally weigh us down. And before we move, we gotta assign a lot. We got a lot of a points. We've got a lot of points to assign. So let's go ahead and put we'll put charm. And then I'll probably do this offline because there's quite a few things to do here. Alright, points are all assigned. We get some pretty big dudes here. So Mag Trigva 14, Magnus 17. Even some of the newer guys like Strom, he got level 9, maxed out writing, one-handed and athletics. Ragnvald maxed out almost everything, and we actually have our first companion that's got some good throwing. So Trigva finished throwing, level 14, just a beast. And before we go check the tavern, we got Carl the Unknown, one-handed polearm throwing. We're going to go ahead and take him in. 2300. That's going to help quite a bit because we are right at the limit of what we can hold. So let's... Yeah, he's starting out with some really, really good gear. Old Sumter, we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, he needs a better a better horse than that. And... Oh, you know what? We got rid of all of our... We got rid of all of our weapons, so we're going to have to figure out something for him. Actually, let's get him kitted out. That's fine. We'll buy some. Yeah, this should work. He's going to have to use the same crappy uh, one-handed, but that's fine. We got him a nice spear, some throwing weapons, a decent mount. Yeah, so he'll fit in. And even more importantly, we need to pick up one more mule because we need all the, the cargo space we can get. We're really running low. Well, welcome, Carl. I hope you survive longer than Bjorn the first did. <laughs> yeah, let's head south. So we're going to... We're at war with the Caliph. Let's head down there. Interesting. So I wanted to check this tournament, and they've got a, an axe. It's a brown bitted axe, so it's a one-handed. It's not that great, but it's probably not bad. Yeah, we'll take the axe. And we might as well give it to our new guy, because his weapon sucks. Now, I wonder if these guys are going to siege. This is a rebel town. I would like to help out with that. Get involved in the beginning, we can get some decent engineering XP. Not that we have an engineer yet, but that broke apart, and then we're the only ones left. <laughs> we're not going to siege with our 11 guys against 470, uh, 447. Let's go ahead and abandon that. And let's go ahead and assign some points. We did level up Carl. Not sure what. Looks like he may might have gotten quite a bit of passive XP. Yeah, he's getting a drip from all these different ones that's pouring over into his main level. Very cool. And I think on this one, we should level up probably one-handed and polearm equally. So let's start with one-handed. Put him at 91. Oh, there might be a fight here. Oh, maybe not. He just lost half of his army. What happened there? Oh, he lost all of his army. I think they're out of food. <laughs> they're starving to death. Yeah, he's about to get swallowed up. Slave caravan. All right, we can raid the villagers at least. Yeah, we're so far... Yeah, really out of, out of whack... On the balance of power so we'll just uh auto resolve these whoa hold up 819 date fruit wow well we're only keeping 10 and we've got way too many animals 
So we just need a little bit of meat. And then let's dump the animals as well. <laughs> There's no way we can hold that. And yeah, way too many mules. So we're going to be pretty severely hurting penalty. All right, hopefully we can still move. we got a lot of stuff we can sell now, at least. Made some decent money there. Let's go check this village out. Maybe we can dump some stuff off here. Right, let's see what's going on here. These guys are chasing pretty hard. Yep, they're going to catch them. And it's over before we get there. Well, okay, they're sieging it again. Yeah, let's let's try and do that. And I think Carl got another level. No, it was actually first dead. And yeah, full arm. And then also Hans got level 8. So let's go ahead and put one into endurance. And another one into writing. So 130. All right, this is it. We got a lot of lot of troops versus very weak troops. Hopefully they just go right in. Yep, there we go. All right, I they're probably going to take over our guys again, so we I don't think we can control them. Now, do they what did they get? They got onagers. So we just need to get to the walls to avoid that. Let's get rid of our spear. We don't need it. And we will mount the walls here. Alright, there's not too many guys here. There are a lot of archers there I would prefer to avoid. Alright, we're in. Right, we're gonna take a little bit of damage here, but it's comes with the territory. We gotta get into cover. Alright, now we can use now we can use the big big boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 188, we'll take it. <laughs> Let's take, let's take the high ground first, work our way down, have a seat. All right, they are starting to push up, so let's either we go after the archers down below that are shooting our guys, or we help on the walls. There's still some archers in here. You cowards, get out there and fight like a man, or just die. <laughs> have a seat. Oh, that's a lot of archers. Yeah, I don't know if we can do that. Let's help our guys. Alright, let's get out here and get some damage done. Alright, we're gonna switch over to the shield because that's a lot of archers. Actually, that one-handed mace does just as much damage. That's insane. Yeah, why are we even bothering with the two-hander? Alright, we gotta get in there. Disrupt these guys, they're shooting at us. Alright, get the guys that we can flank easily. Wow, even the crush through kills them. All right, we're just going to take their archers out by ourselves completely. They're, like, doing no damage to us. We're like a Terminator. I think we just protect protect the, the stairs. We can get some hits in before they pull their weapon out. Just deal with the arrows. Or we stay at the top of the stairs. Get out of here. Oh, we got stuck. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the mace, the two-hander. just crushing through these guys they, there's nothing they could do i mean look at this little tiny axes they have and their attacks just do no damage at all i'm wondering how our guys are doing oh there's some there's some guys with some armor all right uh this is probably gonna end up with us dying let's go down the regular way
Yeah, this thing, even even the armored guys just crushes them. Alright, I see Bjorn getting some kills, so we still have some people alive. Hopefully they survive. They've only got a handful of people left. Where are they? Oh, they're stuck in there. Wow, they're putting up a hell of a fight if they're still alive, though. Alright, that's it. So we had three injuries. We got 71 kills in total, 44 of which is ours. Bjorn, the dozen, indeed. This is a baker's dozen right here. Wow. Well, you earned your name again. Our new guy, Carl the Unknown with five. Wow. Pretty good. Magnus and Trigva did well as, as well. All right, gain your relations for helping people out. Let's go ahead and deposit some troops. Take all the loot. And let's go ahead and drop those guys off. Can't donate prisoners, but we can sell them. Not for much. And I'm pretty sure Carl gained a level off of that. Yeah, he did. So moving up quickly in the world. Let's go ahead and put another one-hander. Seemed like that did pretty well for him. That'll put him at 123. And Bjorn did really well there. No surprise he got another level in. 175. Again, party leader. These aren't going to really make any difference. So let's just pick that for him. And he'll finish off writing. That'll put him at 173. And for 50 charm, we're going to take influence increase from battles by 30%. We're just not really doing that many uh, quests, so it's not going to really help us much. Whereas the influence from battles is going to be huge. Actually, how's our education going? We're at 100%, so we should be able to invest a focus point if it gives it to us. And for some reason, it's not giving us the focus point. Maybe you have to wait a, a month or something for it to trigger. But yeah, we should qualify now. We're 100% necessar necessary skill. We're well above 80 on both of these. So it should unlock, unless it's bugged. It might be bugged, actually, because in my testing, I wasn't able to get it to work. Sweet. Let's uh, let's heal up a bit. And it looks like there's an army just waiting to do something. So there may either be a big battle or they may siege us down. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go to Tubilis. But that's going to turn into a big battle. Okay, we want to be a part of this. And even though some of our guys are injured, that's fine, I think. Yeah, they're going to run out of space here. Oh, they got, they got caught. All right, let's wait for daytime. Oh, they ran... All right, perfect. We can get involved in this. All right, let's make sure we can control our guys. Where are they? Yep, here they are. And let's let's go after their horse archers. We're we're going to be the specialized unit. Actually, we might want to target their horses. Looks like that's their vulnerability. Not that guy, but yeah, some of the horses look pretty under armored. And here comes their cav, so let's back up. Let's back up to the main line. Alright, we're still in good shape here. Yep, there goes one. Let's pick this guy off. Alright, nice. Somebody, Hans got him. Good pick, Hans. Alright, we... Like I said, we're playing... We're playing more of a support role here. So we're just going to help pick people off in the backfield. Let's pick off their cav as they come. Oh, this is an easy one. Helmet, no helmet. Oh, ho, right to the brains. All right, this looks like it might be one of theirs. Yep, let's make sure this guy doesn't get out alive. All right, one more hit and he's probably dead. Yep, there he goes. All right, backfield. All right, they are starting to push our backfield, so let's take out the horse. Take out the camel. Just take out whatever you can. There's the camel. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Man, that looks so nice. Those are definitely horse archers I wouldn't want to mess with. Look at how armored they are. Let's take this guy out. He's, he's being too brave. Alright, cavalry for the most part look to be dealt with. Let's go see if we can provide some support to their front line. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, let's take that horse out. No cav archers for you. Ooh, actually, that was a really good hit. 78. He's probably almost dead. I 
think one more hit. There we go. Yeah, there's only a handful of people left. Actually, we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to get the guys retreating. Let's just pick them off. <laughs> Charge damage. Let's do some some batting. Oh, 70 damage. That's brutal. Ooh, Ragnvald got him with the, uh, look like a couch lance. All right, pretty much GG. There's a few random people hanging out. Yeah, that guy says there's, oh, they were pushing him around with the cab. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. All right, not, not too eventful. We did actually lose two people there. We got 15 kills and only got 1.5 influence for it, but that's because 15 kills out of 219 is not a whole lot of kills. Uh, hopefully we get a little bit of the loot for that. And we did help, so we get some relations there. Uh, with both people, actually. Yeah, not too bad. The, these ha hand guards are for sure going to help. Yeah, look at that. Some decent upgrades. Oh, there's a guy with eight. We might be able to catch this guy. Oh, well, we caught him. I don't know if that's a good thing, though. <laughs> we're, we're in good shape, though. I think I think we can handle this. Ten on eight. They've got mostly cavalry, but there are a few infantry. So it, it is going to be... They're going to be outnumbered. And there's a ton of fog. This is cool. All right, let's back up a bit. All right, here they come. Let's go after the horse archers first because they're just so annoying. Let's actually hold fire. I feel like we're not going to hit anything. All right, we need to keep on this guy. Ooh, good hit under the shoulders. A devastating hit. Oh, and a face hit. All right, there's the horse archers. That's it. Let's go after the cav now. All right, we're going to go head, head on with this one. Got a nice couch lance out of that. And we cannot allow this banner to fly. <laughs> All right, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, there we go, get him, boys. Nice, rug involved with the face hit. All right, this is just, this is getting too easy. I don't know why they, they were so confident. All right, heads up, let's do it. I'm not scared. Oh, we got it down just in time. We got Talos. All right, let's get this guy again. Ooh, knocked him off the horse. He wants to get on that horse. We aren't going to allow it. Oh, no, Helga. She was probably very low, so that makes sense. All right, we got him. All right, there's two infantry. Let's just go destroy these kids. Let's let's get him with our, our two-handed mace. Oh, we couldn't even catch him in time. Magnus just destroyed him. All right, luckily Helga survived. 18 influence. See, look at that. We got half the kills that we did last time, but so much more influence just because the overall battle, we got more percentage of it. So we can't let all of them go. I guess we capture them, and then we can let only the main one go. That's interesting. Wow, we captured a lot. Oh, we can let this one go. Maybe we take their prisoners? I don't know. That's weird. So we got a scholar, engineer, engineer, spice vendor, and scholar. So these are all companions. Yeah, we will take some upgrades though. We got a lot of animals we don't have room for. So let's get rid of that. Yeah, no room for chickens, sorry. Let's go back to Kuyas since it's close enough. Now we can donate these guys. No, we can't. Exceeds prisoner limit. This is probably going to be the same thing. Twelve pri Actually, only 12 prisoners. What does this one have? 64, yeah. So we can probably do it here. Here we go. All right, let's donate all the prisoners. So we got 12, and we're going to keep five people locked up for that and get some relations. All right, back to Kuya so we can sell some stuff. But we're still making decent money. We're getting, yeah, less than 200. So we're getting probably about like 170 for the mercenary contract, something like that. But we are above a quarter million. So next goal is half a million, and, uh, and then eventually we need to be at 1 million. But I think... If we keep fighting good battles like that, we, we should be able to get there in, in no time. We do need to hire some more people, though. 11 people is not going to cut it. If we can get, I think, up to 20, 25, something like that, would be a nice nice group of very elite mercenary troops. Yeah, we should probably wait a day let these people heal up, though. And there's a big army going south. Let's go see what they're doing. Oh, they're, they're trying to take... They're trying to take Ayn Balik. All right, how fast are these guys? They're pretty fast. We're a little bit faster, though. I think we're okay. Oh, why did we slow down so much? 
instead of forced. All right, we're joining the siege. Hopefully this thing goes through. Only 85 people, so it should launch immediately. They are starting to send some people, though. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's starting to be a, a pretty pretty rowdy bunch. Yeah, I was going to say, screw the, uh, the, the battering ram. Just go, man. They do have ballista here, so we got to be careful. Hopefully our companions don't do anything stupid. It looks like they're mostly going this way, so let's follow them in. Or we should be able to lead, hopefully. Oh, nice shot. Alright, we're up first. Lead from the front. Alright, they are going to skirmish with these guys. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Okay. Alright, we got to figure something out here. All right, let's just get past, if we can. And start hitting it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that hurt. All right, that guy's got a two-handed mace. We don't want to mess with that. All right, there we go. We're distracting him, at least. We're pulling him off the wall. All right, got that guy out. Oh man, those maces hurt. We just need to burn through his stamina, keep him in a line. Oh, this is so hard. Oh no, 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 this guy's gonna destroy us. Yeah, that, it's that freaking spear. All right, there we go, can we take him out here? Nice. Oh, we got some help. A Kalradoi. Nice. Alright, we led the spearhead. We took some pretty heavy damage, but this worked out pretty well. Alright, up the walls. Oh, yeah. These cowards. Now we gotta teach them how to be a man. <laughs> oh, no. Not like that. Not like that. Oh, it took his leg out. Oh, we're so close to dying. There we go. We just gotta not, not get hit here and we'll be fine. Alright, keep swinging, keep swinging. Why isn't my guy's not swinging? All right, this guy's got some hefty armor. Not enough, though. Not enough, Mameluk. Oh, knock him off the wall. Kick him. Yeah. Oh, no, he didn't go. <laughs> I was going to say we can kick him off. That'd be cool. All right, I think this is a dead end. Yeah, this goes up to nowhere. The AI already knew that. That's why they turned back. Cheating. Ooh, that was intense. Look at how much health we have. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. We lost almost everybody. Luckily, nobody died, though. Ooh, look at this. Stromkarlin. 13 kills. But all one-handed, too. Wow, he cleaned up. And then we got... He actually did better than we did. We got 12, they got... He got 13. Hell of a job. Yeah, 18 influence on this one. That's that's a lot better than the last one. Yeah, we're, we're making a name for ourselves here. Ooh, we got a Pugio. That'll smelt down pretty nice. Now, we did pick up a, a different two-handed mace. So those guys that we killed up top in the beginning. Looks like we got one of theirs. 31 blunt damage. That's really good. Let's see what ours is. So it's got a lot less swing speed, though. That that does concern me. 127 length. Yeah, I mean, the AI thinks it's better. So I guess we'll, we'll run with it and see what it does. Yeah, this Peugeot is ridiculous, man. It's, it's not good at all. <laughs> but they made it expensive because of the crafting materials. All right, first order of business. Donate troops. So there's a little bit of a garrison at least. Donate prisoners. Can't donate all of them. And wait. Oh, they just got out. All right, we need to heal up big time. Oh, we're under siege. Okay, we might have our first siege defense. This would be cool. Hopefully we get our health back though. Oh, here we go. Big fight. Can we sally out with them? Yeah, we can. 